I'm going to get a better night's sleep now because of you. And I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm going to go buy my pillow now because, well. Just fuck him. That's why. Hey, team, have you heard this one? My goodness, the pillow fights have begun. David Hogg, Hog, Hogg, I don't care. I don't know. He, he's a kid. He's an adult now, isn't he? He's an adult now. Yeah, he's an adult now. Screw this guy, man. He's been in a pain, and he's been trying to take away our Second Amendment rights for a very long time. But now he's an adult, and he's trying to take away Mike Lindell's First Amendment rights by ruining him. Well, he's not trying to take them away. He's just trying to ruin them. He's going to make himself a progressive pillow company. Let's talk about that today. Yeah! Well, uh, here we read from the New York Post. Parkland survivor David Hogg, Hogg, the H-O-double-G, taking on MyPillow CEO Mike Lindell. Well, if you didn't know this, uh, Mike Lindell is fairly conservative, a Trump supporter. Uh... I wouldn't call him right winger. He's definitely conservative. Um, I don't think he's an extremist, though. David Hogg, on the other hand, is a lefty. He is a leftist extremist. He he, he wants complete gun control. He's, he's very single-minded on this point, but apparently not. I thought he was, but apparently not. Now he's going to take on Mike Lindell and his pillow empire. Whew. It says here, gun control activist David Hogg, a survivor of the Parkland School Massacre. You know, he's a survivor of the Parkland School Massacre, like AOC was a survivor of the Capitol raid. But, whatever. Here we go. Hogue 20. Oh, good. 20. That means he's an adult. For sure. Who was a Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School student during the slaughter of, in 2018, tweeted that he'll team up with the progressive tech entrepreneur William Legate in an effort to create a rival pillow firm. The pillow fight just got very real, says nobody who's serious about opening a pillow business. <laughs> it's not about conflict. It's about peaceful sleep. And David Hogg, you have not been peaceful pretty much your whole public career. Very, very controversial. So I guess you would need a, a, a nice, firm, but yet soft and supple pillow to rest that big old head of yours upon. My goodness gracious, look at that. He's like a toothpick with a rotten apple on top. Oof. Look at that cranium. My goodness. That's actually not too big. That's that's not fair. He's decently proportioned. He's just an asshole. Anyway, uh, so uh, I don't know what the heck they're teaching him over at Harvard. If you didn't know, he goes to Harvard now because, not because his grades are great, not because he had great SATs, but because of his activism. At least it wasn't his skin color because he is white. So uh, yeah, check out my video from yesterday to talk about that. Um, he says, Legate, Hogg says, Legate and I can, can and will run a better business and make a better product, all with more happy staff than Mike the Pillow Guy while creating U.S.-based union jobs and helping people. We also hope to hire formerly incarcerated people, vets, and the workers from my pillow in the case that we put them out of business. So, here's what you don't understand. I don't know what you're studying in Harvard, but I studied business. So I know a thing or two about business. And here's the deal. Mike's a conservative, has been for a long time. I don't think anybody who buys my pillow doesn't know that already. You're progressive. You're a jerk off. You're a, just a mean spirited, bad person who's trying to deprive the country of our Second Amendment rights to defend ourselves. So, you know, you should, you're, just, you're just a shameful, terrible human being. And that's fine. Do your thing, man. But here's the deal in order to put Mike out of business, you got to cut into his customer base. And they all know who he is, David. Mr. Hogg, they are, they already know he's a conservative and they buy his pillow. In fact, I'm going to buy a pillow now because of you. I'm going to get a better night's sleep now because of you. And I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm going to go buy my pillow now because, well, just fuck him. That's why. Just to piss you off. I hope it works. Anyway, the main issue here is, is you're going to, in order to put him out in business, you'd have to take his customer base away from him. And you're not going to do that because you're progressive. You're trying to, and pe the people who are his customers and buying his pillows know who he is already. And you come in saying, hey, here's a progressive pillow, guys, as if that has anything to do with pillow softness. Or does it? Huh. We well, all do have soft heads, so you, you, you might 
You might need a really soft pillow. Too much support for the back. I don't know what you're thinking, pal, but the deal is here. You can't take it. You can't take away his business and put him out of it if you don't take away his customers. And you're not going to do that because everyone knows who you are. And you're going to have activists on your side buying your pillows. I, what a weird hill to die on. Why are you? Okay, I get it. Mike Lindell, he's a, he's a self-made entrepreneur who's a conservative, so he must go down. I get it, I guess. And you're, you're going to be the one to put him in your crosshairs. How ironic, David. Aren't you a gun control activist? <sighs> anyway, how irritating. How dumb. And I hope that, uh, I hope you fail. I do. Because this whole virtue signaling, oh, we're going to be a better business and we're going to hire incarcerated people and vets and workers from the other guy once we're out of business. Yeah, okay. That's just, you're just irritating. It shows you're a child. You're not making good business decisions based on a strategy, based on a solid product that you don't even have yet. You're doing it for political reasons. And people are sick and tired of that. We're sick and tired of you. Just go away and retire. Get your degree and live in quiet obscurity. But what do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.